G'day guys, Matt here, and this is Farming Simulator 15 How to Farm Videos, my tutorial series. Today's tutorial will be uh, baling hay and straw. I will be covering both of them, which makes the hay and the straw into square or rectangular bales and round bales. I will be covering the, the fruit types, grass, wheat and barley and then I'll show you what they're used for um, at the end of the video. Uh, just a quick note though, if you're going to plant a field of grass, uh, once you plant grass in the field it, come, it stays as grass. Here to show you with the actual cultivator. As we see here, they are, it's still as grass. So once it's grass, it's completely grass. So watch which fields you're going to do. If you're going to do cows, I highly recommend doing, excuse me, field 40, because that'll be enough to do up your cows there. Anyways, uh, pack up this. Alright, so this field will be grass, and I have saved the game before I uh, made a bit of, bit what, ah, uh, I saved the game so I, I don't need to worry about wasting this field in particular. Now you see this field has already got um, some type of fruit already on, on here, as you can see. Um, so, and this is the field you get also get when you start the game if you're playing on the newish map. Um, but uh, it's a bit far away from your main farm, so I don't usually go here. So, if I did say by uh, accident after I'd done this video, uh, it doesn't really bother me because this is only going to be grass. And you can see this this cedar here. It's the next one along, and this one does uh, cultivate as well. So there you go. So as that's going, I want to show you what I've done. I need to transport these to 38, and I was trying to cram them in. I did a thing, guys. You know what? I'm going to see if I can get this all the way there. If not, I'll just transport them off screen. I was hoping for the trailer to slip in the... Uh, to slip in the forks back here so it's like hanging on the back here like looks like it's attached but uh, it's slipped over to the side as you can see got a limbo under it oops wrong car one vehicle I did this before or something similar I thought you were a man man's can pull this well yeah it's Ship Swift can do this, or oh, that other Europe company, Swift, I think it is. The one that's very sponsored to, um, or well, supported by, but Euro Truck Simulator, because it had its own video game before Euro Truck 2 came out. Uh, it's too much for the load.
Actually, before I really get into it. Right, so field 23 will be wheat. Wheel 24 will be barley. Actually, I can take the shortcut here. This fight won't really help. Oh, I see the problem. It's too, too much way in the back. this little one out of the way looks like you can touch the ground now anyway so let's try that yep it touched the ground Still not enough grip. It's getting there. It's probably because of this trail on the side. Do that, it gives it that little extra push. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. If I tend to drop them, I'll drop them. I don't care.
Oh no! Oh, I got them here, that's the main thing. Stupid tree. And there's a little carport thing over there. Put these away and if I really wanted to. And then again, I'm not really going to save the game once I've done this. All those hours I've spent in this area, or this type of game file, are going to be completely a waste. Alright, um... Oops. You're kidding me, really? Is that good enough for you? No. Um... I think that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, there's two ways I'm going to show you how you mow. And that's going to be done with... I has to be this tractor. We do need to get a mower for the front. A lodge. A lodge wagon. <coughs> get two of those. Um, and not that. Um, well, was, uh, you want to get that one, middle one, because that one, unless you're going to do it like with one tractor and one to collect, you can do it two like that. Um, but this harvester, with this. When you might need his trailer. Anyways, I'm going to set it all up and that that last one was not meant to be grabbed. Oh, well, I'm going to set up and let the stuff grow, and I'll show you how to harvest it and put it away. Shut up, Henry. <clears throat> okay, guys, now it's time to harvest the uh, crops. Um, and the way I'm going to do this is um, doing the barley and wheat stuff first, uh, as well as mowing the lawns for the grass to show you guys the different types of stuff you can do. Um, so I'll get these two going because these are two, these two are main automatic. Yeah. So with your harvester, you want to make sure you are you know, uncouple if you're using this type of harvester. Any type of harvester will do, even the first basic one. You want to unpack it.
me in just a cell. Make now with this type of header, you want to um, unpack that up as well. Now, on the top right, oh sorry, top left, you see there's an edible store button, which is the key next to your M. You want to edible that, um, and you'll see why in a sec. Hire your worker, or you want to do it yourself. And your harvester will leave a trail of straw. Yeah, straw. And such. And I'll show you how you collect that later. So this works for both wheat. Make sure you edit. Uh. Straws. What? Straw is not available. Not giving me the option. Hold on. Oh, don't tell me this one's bugged. Sometimes um, you may leave a little bit in there and it won't really tell you. Oh, okay, now it's working. I think probably because this harvester thinks so. Oh, wait. Oh, I know now. It, because the... I remember. I remember. Can you please shut down? Thank you. I, rem I remember why it wasn't working. Because this heather was previously... 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 I used this on canola before. So the, so the heather thinks I was doing canola. That's why. So yeah, you gotta watch out for that. Anyways, you wanna edible and think always you wanna move the truck out of the way. So yeah, so that that's the case you might want to quickly do a little bit of the fruit type of straw of bar uh, wheat the uh, wheat or barley and there you go the stuff is laying. Now we'll go to the grass people. Alright, now with the grass, I know I said I was gonna do the yeah, this is confusing. Because um, I don't know whether exactly the field type. I think it starts where that that one is. So I'm not going to really go di too deep with the mowing stuff on this episode. Uh, so what you want to do is lower the front. And then turn it on. Go to the back one, turn it on. I'll lower that and drive. You have to do this manually though. You want to see it will pick it up. Now we can uh, do this this way by picking up with the um, what's this called again? Uh, load it load a wagon. Oh, 
or you can do it with the um, big machine there. And this is sort of the cheap, what I'm doing now is sort of the cheaper way to do it. So if you're just starting the game. So grab that and a loaded wagon and you mow the lawn, you can put it in one of those um, grass piles you see all over the map. Like, um, for example, the green trailer icons instead of the yellow ones, the green ones. Now you could do it this way with this. Have the pipe out. Once again, you still have to do this manually. Now you could do that. Or you can take the trailer off and do it manually. Okay, I haven't really researched this, I'll be honest. I thought because this can, this can do it by itself, but of course I didn't know that, so... Okay, this is a bad example. <laughs> okay, this... Uh, Alright, so this is, makes it into mace like the corn it does, so obviously I was wrong and I apologise for those people, so do not buy that for the grass. So you will need the, uh, you do need the mower, but you do not really need the for each wagon. Now this part, I'm going to quickly pause and get something else, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I remember what I exactly got to do. The reason why I used that big big tractor harvester thing is because in the last game there was an actual big giant mower to do that job, but obviously this didn't. So what you have to do is get the front piece and this back piece. And hopefully this tractor is powerful enough to do it. Um, Alright, so we want to do turn the front one on. Start going a bit. Should I? Yeah, I thought so. This is another. No, yeah, this is another new mechanic. Mechanic to the game is because of the power ratio. And this count. And that's another new mechanic, really. So I'm just going to carefully roll this back. Lucky I got the big tractor just here. So that's why I didn't just put you over there. Alright, let's try this again. I'll start from here though. Alright, so front on, back on, and go.
and this is how you do it in this game is you got to do it by a tractor first and you're going to make sure you have a powerful tractor so you need to bulk out a bit more but not as much as to get that big um, harvester that I used before and I'm just going to do another quick run for good luck so I want to make sure I can cover enough for uh, the three types of barrels which is the uh, square slash yeah, square bales or rect rectangular. No, not rectangular. Oh yeah, square bales or rectangular. What's it called? Hold on. Well, anyway, you get what I mean. Have you out of the way and get this other tractor. This is called a Widrow. Um, they come in the small, medium and large category. Of course I got the large. Hopefully to do this in like two times at the most. What this does is make all this, oh, doing it with my hands, all this, still doing it with my hands, all this, what I mowed already, into like pretty much one straight line. And this here is um, from grass to hay. And this is one of the ways you can do it. <coughs> and I think it's a little bit quicker than um, going up and down with the uh, other parts, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Now I said I was going to do the wheat and barley, but I might as well get rid of it, get this out of the way. Uh, sorry for confusing you guys. And that'll be it, I'm not going to go for another run. Squeeze you this way. Right, yeah, time to pack up if you're not completely packed up. Yeah, you have a clock, you'll be done. Alright, so we'll start with the... I didn't bring the scale bell, did I? No, I did not. Alright, well, I'm not going to waste any more time. It's, well, it's pretty much the same deal, but this is a bit different.
You are kidding me. I gotta put I gotta put it yet as well. Uh, let me just double check. Do I really gotta uh, teddy at first then? Because if that's gonna be the case, I'm pretty much done with doing this grass stuff. Uh, now it's got the grass symbol. Alright, I'm just going to tell you guys what to do. Uh, you need to get one of these teddies here. Teddy the field, then windrow it. Then you pick it up. Uh, bloody pisses me off. Yeah. I'm going to move on to... um doing this straw stuff. So with the straw, you want to do exactly the same as I was trying to do with the hay, or the grass. And you see it's making it. Now with these round bales, they will finish up. You hearing that beeping sound? Push O, push O again, go again, oh yeah it doesn't stop when I do that. And that's how you do the round bales. Show you how you do the square bales now. Square bales has been improved from the last game and I'll show you why after doing a few strikes. Push X to unfold it. Now of course it, you have to do like two barrels beforehand before it starts actually dropping. I'll just do that. So we'll stop that. Now this is the new mechanic in the game is you can actually unload by pushing O. And there you go, you get your extra two bales. Now if you're wondering, well, I only have one baler um, and I can't really afford the second one to uh, do some more work. 
Um, there is a new, I don't know if it's a new mechanic, but um, if you say you finished doing straw and you want to go into the grass to hay, um, this, the bale that's already in there will turn into the one you are harvesting uh, or picking up. So you don't need to worry about that. And then eventually you can um, switch over to do, to have one to do one and one to do the other. Alright, so you get this trailer here. And this picks them up. Then you just pick up the square bales. You can just go like that. When it picks up the second one, it will push it back. And I'll pick up these next two here. And once it holds their max, well, I don't want to do that. So I see. If I should be able to cancel it once it's done its little animation. Of course that will leave them back there but that doesn't really matter to be honest. Oh. It's alright I can pick them up again. B. Now you take them over here to Now with the barrels, once you pick them up, you can A, store them safely somewhere, or B, you can take them to this little barn, barn slash shed thing over here. And you rush your trailer into there. Push O again. Make sure you're not too close when you do this as well. And you gotta watch that as well. But uh, apparently I pushed them in the right angle to get them sold. That's going to skill going down. Good. So that's how you can sell them without uh, need to worry about holding them. But if you want to hold them for the cows, then you can store them somewhere else. That goes the same with the round ones, which I should show you. I'll use this tractor. I thought I was all organized, but obviously I'm not. But hopefully this video will still help you guys how to uh, do up the bales and all that. Oh, I forgot about these ones. Well, this one can do the round bale pick up. Come on, something a little hill. Oh yeah, the round bales, they tend to move. As you can see the other ones over there at the fence. Ok, 
Can I squeeze this in there? Maybe. There we go. So you want to harass it up again, or you can store them into a shed or something. This tray is not that long and not that big, so it's easy to back it up. Lol, see the top of the trailer's in the roof. And that's how you sell those round ones as well. Oh, I might as well do it since I'm already wasted lots of time. I didn't realise you need to teddy them, but I guess it needs to be dry. They maybe changed it in the new game, that's probably another reason why I didn't know about this. Now I'm not going to go and waste any more time by tatting the rest. There we go, now it's picking it up. I do I do remember doing this on multiplayer, but I didn't think it was going to be sort of different. So, uh, I think this goes both for square and round bales, so you might want to check that out. It's better to do it here. Oops, wrong button. Not like that. Stop moving. Really? Bowels are OP, please nerf. Alright, so with the grass bowels, oh, technically it's now a straw bale. No, sorry, hay bale. You want to, uh, wrap them up
like that and lower it down we'll put the duct tape around it So now, I, I don't know if you can sell these, those, these, I don't have the picker up trailer yet, do I? Uh, no I don't, of course not. Alright, um, but yeah, so what happens here is, you can probably sell these, if not, you store them and give them some time, then you could use these uh, to make your stuff for the cows. Uh, so that's going to be it for the bales of hay and straw oh. so and I apologize for this video going a bit long than I originally thought and the mix up of that mower incident but hopefully this will show you guys how to do it and how to take care of your bales as well as selling them uh, please like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching as well as so stay tuned for more and hopefully this time I'll um, know what to do exactly to show you guys in a much shorter time. Thanks for watching again.